Welcome to Lanier High School, class of 2028. This video contains important course registration information. We'll begin by looking at the steps to the registration process. Over the next few months, the following things will take place. The first being core course recommendations, and those are in math, language arts, and science. A student's current eighth grade teacher will select the ninth grade course recommendation for each student. After that is complete, students will select their elective courses, and those selections will be recorded on the ninth grade elective database. In addition, all students should review our CDET 9 program information and apply if interested. And later in the semester, around spring break, students and parents will review the student course request profile. And this is the last opportunity to adjust any course request. Again, by looking a little more in depth at our core courses, and those are math, science, and language arts. All ninth grade students will take a math, science, and language arts course. Math options are algebra, geometry, or accelerated geometry. In science, most of our students will take college prep or honors gifted biology, but for our very strong science and math students who plan to take AP biology during 10th grade, they may be recommended for honors gifted chemistry. Students, if you think this applies to you, please discuss this with your science teacher. And language arts options are college prep or honors gifted ninth grade language arts. And a reminder, eighth grade teachers will make the recommendation for the appropriate ninth grade course and will report it. So what about social studies? Social studies is considered a core subject area, but in Gwinnett County, the courses that are required for graduation are not available in the ninth grade. We do have an elective option from the Social Studies Department, though, that is worth consideration, and that is our AP Human Geography course. This is strongly recommended for students who plan to take additional AP courses in the future and are interested in having an academically rigorous schedule. So we've talked about our required core courses, math, science, and language arts. There is another course that all ninth graders in Gwinnett County in the state of Georgia are required to take, and that is health, personal fitness. These are one semester courses. They pair together though as one course in the schedule. So you'll take one, one semester and the other second semester. These courses are available to take through the summer through summer school through Gwinnett online campus. Um, this is a good option for students who are planning to participate in multiple courses and may need another elective slot in their schedule. It does, there is a cost associated with it. If you are interested in registering for summer health personal fitness, please see the Gwinnett online campus website for that registration information. So we've talked about our core courses and health, personal fitness. Students, in addition to these courses, students take three elective courses. So what is an elective? These are courses outside of those required courses we've already listed that give students the opportunity to explore areas of individual interest. They are similar to connections courses, but students select elective courses at the high school level. So where do you find information about the electives we offer at Lanier? The elective list, course descriptions, and an informational video are all posted to the Lanier High School website, which is also linked to the Lanier Middle School website. And we will uh, look at that website later on in this presentation. So once you've decided the courses you're interested in, how will you register? In early February, you will record your elective selections on the LHS elective registration database, and that will be done during advisement at Lanier Middle School. How many courses will you take? Each student will take three electives in ninth grade, but when you are registering, you will pick six options 
listed in the order of preference. So the one you want the most will be number one, the least will be number six, and we will use your choices four, five, and six, the last three, they will be used as alternates. So we will use them in the event that there is a conflict with one of your other course requests. So please choose all six carefully because you may be taking. And here's a list of all the electives available at Lanier High School. And then again, a reminder that the complete list along with course descriptions is posted to our website. All right, so summarizing what we've covered so far, what courses will you take in the ninth grade? You will take a math course, algebra, geometry, or accelerate geometry, that recommendation coming from your math teacher. You will take a science course. Most students will take biology. Some students will take honors gifted chemistry, and that recommendation will come from your science teacher. And you will take ninth grade language arts with your course recommendation, level recommendation coming from your language arts teacher. All students take health personal fitness, and then three student choice electives. So in addition to our course recommendation, our registration, we want to talk about an optional program that is available to our ninth grade students. Lanier High School operates a program called CDAT, which stands for the Center for Design and Technology, and there is a ninth grade component to it. This is a program that uses active and applied learning, so a lot of project-based learning, to promote science, technology, engineering, and math commonly referred to as STEM education pathway. For students who opt into the CDAT 9 program, they are scheduled in a block, and those courses include your language arts class, chemistry, so all students in the CDAT 9 block will take chemistry. Don't worry about your science recommendation. We will take care of that at the high school level. Um, if you are recommended for biology, that will not be a problem. And you will take a technology course and you will actually decide your technology course in the fall. So right now we will just have an elective space reserved for your CDAT 9 elective, and in the fall, our CDAT 9 students will choose from Foundations of Engineering, Introduction to Software Technology, and for certain students, AP Computer Science Principles is an option. So those three classes are taught within the CDAT 9 block of courses. CDAT 9 is open to students with any college or career interest, but it is strongly recommended for any student interested in advanced STEM and technology. Uh, you would definitely benefit from participation in CDAT. Also, CDAT 9 students will have the opportunity to participate in an AP seminar program that does start in the 10th grade. If you are interested in CDAT 9, please refer to our website, and I'll show you where that's located. The application instructions are located on the web page um, along with some informational videos and a lot of good information for our students interested in CDAT 9. Okay, so once you've reviewed CDAT 9, decided if you want to apply or not, registration processes are done for a little while. So we'll finish that in February. Then, once everything is compiled, in late March or early April, usually around spring break, each student will receive a green sheet of paper, and this is the student course request profile. All of the courses you're registered for will be listed on the student course request profile. Students and parents will verify selections, and also, if you have changed your mind, uh, particularly about an elective, you may alter course requests using the document you'll simply follow the, the instructions that are provided and make sure you return it by the date that's published after the student course request profile is returned there are no additional opportunities to alter your course selection we do not at lanier high school we do not make schedule changes in the fall so you need to make sure when this form is completed that you are content with your registration selections because those will be the courses that you are taking at Lanier High School.
So circling back to our registration materials, all of our materials are posted on the Lanier High School webpage under the registration tab. And then there's a rising ninth grade student section. If you click on that, everything will be open. And this page includes um, an overview of the steps in the registration process, information about ninth grade core courses, ninth grade elective options for 24-25, a video about those elective options, your seat at nine information and the application link, the rising Longhorn Night flyer, and information about Lanier High School as an academy and pathway information that you will hear a lot more about in the 10th grade. If you are watching this video before January 23rd, we strongly, strongly recommend, if possible, that you attend Rising Longhorn Night, and that is January 23rd from 6 until 7.30, and that is located at Lanier High School, enter through our gymnasium. And we're going to wrap up by looking at a screenshot of the Lanier High School website. And on it, you can see where the registration tab is. If you select rising ninth grade students, all of the documents will be there for your review. And it is strongly encouraged that all of our eighth grade students spend some time going through these individual documents so that you are familiar with all of the options available to you. So that wraps it up for our registration preview. Good luck in this process. Um, please make your decisions thoughtfully and carefully, and we look forward to working with you next year at Lanier High School. Welcome, Warren.